Hey guys, Breon Angeli here, and I'm back at it again with my Old School Labs crew. And we're here at my home gym, Gold's Gym North Hollywood, and today it's all about the hamstrings. So come with me and let's rock it. The same theme goes for hamstrings today. Y'all know the drill. We hit it hard, we hit it fast. Hamstrings are a small, fast twitch muscle. Fast twitch muscles can't handle too much overexertion. You know, hours and hours of training. No, hit them hard, hit them fast, and then get on out of there, and then grow. So let's have some fun. So guys, also hamstrings are really kind of tough to develop amongst everybody. I feel that you're really one of the elite when you have good hamstring development. It's not an easy muscle to really develop and have a good bow, roundness to it, at the same time get it conditioned. So to get the best of both worlds with the hamstrings, I feel like you got it going on. Train them hard, put the calories in when you're training them, and rest. Pretty much all I need to do with any with any warm up guys is like that first set, first exercise is warming it up. After that, I really don't need to warm up because I'm you know I'm already ready to go. I'm already got it. I already have a good lap. Yeah, it's pretty much always with a feel. Sometimes I stick to a plan when I'm kind of under a time under a, a time situation. For the most part, it's always a feel. Yeah. Oh yeah. Another curl exercise, guys. Another contraction exercise. Moving to seated curls here. Can go pretty heavy. Do a lot of squeezing and holding. With that one before, I just wanted to get a initially get a lot of blood flow in there. Really work on a little bit more mass and a little bit more roundness to the hamstring. Now I'm gonna work on a little conditioning to it. I'm holding here, guys, for about 10 reps. Everyone squeezing and holding is good with me, and that's gonna get the conditioning that we want. Let's feel good about building our hamstrings. I think three sets here is good. I held for about five seconds on every rep, guys, on that one. So you hold about five seconds on every rep, you're gonna feel it starting rep <laughs> two, three, four. Because <laughs> one rep is like two or three, right? And when it's all said and done, you gotta stretch that muscle out, man. Or just get up. Because you're so tight right now, you know, you don't wanna do too much contracting and stretching. Remember, always injury free. Right? Always thinking about that. We build some new muscle fibers with that one, guys. That's what we did. That was it for the two contract contraction movements. My favorite, guys, we're gonna go pretty heavy. Stretching movement to really hit the high hamstring. Hamstring tie-in with the glute. So guys, I'm gonna, to put a little bit more extra stress on the hamstring, I'm gonna step on a 10 pound weight. Okay, I'll put two of them on the ground and really lift my toes to put more emphasis on pushing from the heels. Woo! That was good. So guys, notice, you know, I'm squeezing at the top, really trying to get stretch and squeeze, stretch and squeeze, full range of motion. And as I come up, guys, I'm coming up with my hamstring. I'm not coming up with my arms. I'm not coming up with my back. It's all hamstring. I might even feel it kind of good, guys. Feel it kind of good, so I might even take it to the 130. Guys, we're gonna amp it up a little bit. We're gonna superset with adductor machine. I'm drumming up an appetite, baby, already. That food is calling my name after this after this workout. Details, details, details. But so when you flex rear double by, that hamstring is popping and it's striated and it's sharp. When I superset, guys, rarely do I do anything more than four sets, especially if I have a superset with a single unilateral movement. So we got to, we're talking about a complete leg, guys. Got we do quads, we do adductor, we do calves. I get my glutes in with my cardio most of the time when I'm squeezing during cardio, squeezing with on the treadmill, squeezing on the stair stepper. There's only a few things that separate, you know, champions from just the normal competitor. Just pushing past the threshold, you know? Just really pushing past the threshold. It's very important, you know, that no quit, that dog, that fight in them. If you have that fight, magnificent. Find it to, uh, to get it because it'll really set you apart. Hamstrings crew today, guys. We grew today, we got better today. We should feel really good about what we just did. Well, we can't treat ourselves to any type of different food. It's gotta be the same old thing, but nevertheless, we're gonna enjoy it. 
and know that we got better. One step closer to the O. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that pump as much as I did. That was intense. Uh, if you guys have nutritional questions uh, or not sure if your form is 100%, make sure to leave your comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them uh, the next time around. And remember guys, always keep it old school.